Good one, Mum. That's a good size. So that's just water. Just water. Yeah, the way we've got to fill up our tanks um, for the caravan. Uh, we just have to hook a fitting onto here and then you just pump it in and yeah. get a child to swing on it.
<laughs> one spot. Good idea of the locals there to um, put together something that was iconic to the town. So it's worth a little stop. Yeah. It doesn't take long. It was just off the main road a little bit and just easy to wander through and have a look. Um, so now we're going to go check out Lake McDonald as well, um, which is a pink lake. Uh, you sort of, it's about 12 kilometres off the main road, um, down a dirt road. Uh, but we'll just go check it out and see how pink it is and yeah, have a little look. We've seen a few pink lakes in the past, so yeah. it'll just be good to check out another one and yeah. see how pink it is. Yeah, and the kids love to have a little play like the and, salt and touch stuff. the salt and that, so we'll check it out and see what it's like. Yeah. So Mark's cooking corner tonight. We pulled up on the side of the road here. We've got some old ruins. I think it's an old school site or something over there. All historic like. Empty paddock. Out in the bush. I think the highway's over there somewhere. How's the sunset? Beautiful. Anyway, so what we've got tonight, we've got some uh we've got that salmon that we got given the other day at uh Paluby Beach. We're just gonna do a bit of a beer batter. Got the induction cooker coming out. We're gonna be driving tomorrow anyway, so it'll recharge the batteries. It's all good, no worries. First step, beer. Second step, batter. And we've got these beautiful fillets here, ready to go in. Oh, winning. Beer batter is no fancy recipe or anything. It's literally beer and flour. Mix it together. Perfect. Anyway, induction cooktop and lithium for the win. All right, so there's the finished product. A couple of beautiful Aussie salmon fillets. Beer battered, slightly fried, not deep fried, but shallow fried. Beautiful. What are we having tonight, Dal? We are just going to chuck them on some wraps. Yeah, so fish wraps. And Kids the... are just having cheese, tomato, lettuce and mayo with their fish wrap. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a bit of kewpie and mango chutney with ours. Ooh, yum. Be lovely. And some jalapenos and chilli sauce, obviously. Always. Nice and easy. Uh, cook, cook on the side of the road. Zero real prep we've already filled it to the fish and everything like that so it's super easy and the kids love it they, they always want more of this and we're like uh nope mm. Beerenberg Beerenberg mango chutney again so good Handorf, the place that keeps delivering just go back go there it's awesome anyway that's our dinner for tonight super easy and super yummy ready for another day of traveling tomorrow Push the hatch right open. 
So we just woke up hearing these things on the roof and we thought it was um, rain. And so these little rainbow lorikeets or galahs or whatever they are, not galahs. So cool. Parrots. Parrots. But it's freaky ads because we're like, what the hell's that noise? We'll go check this out and see what it's like. What did we find? A little stumpy. A shingleback lizard. Shingleback lizard. Oop, he's going off into the bush. Have a look. Look. Oh, he disappeared. That's okay. Oh, look. Hello. Hey, little guy. Off he goes, he's finding his house again. Bye Dad. Bye dude. That was cool. Mm. <laughs> Roadside stop for lunch and we find a bit of nature. It's good because the kids obviously have learned this a fair bit on the way, so a little bit of uh, schooling and appreciation of the wildlife, it's good. What do you want to be when you grow up, Esther? A vet. A vet. Good work. Alright, so just scrap everything we just said um, because we've just come here to go in the entry gate and we just spotted this sign. It was pretty hard to see, but apparently the visitor centre is closed because of COVID. Really disappointing because now that the states are all opening up and everything else is happening as normal, um, it's just hard to understand why these sorts of things aren't opening yet, but obviously they've got their reasons. But it's, yeah, it's sad because obviously we're not going to travel back through here in a hurry. So we can't, we're just, you're missing out on this stuff altogether now. So um, would be lovely if it was open. Uh, just even the boardwalk, it's an outdoor thing. Would be nice if we could actually just go down there and show the kids and show them, you know, even if they, I don't know, some, had some sort of outdoor history of the whale migration or something. Because it's just sad. It's just sad that you can't do things like this at the moment. So. It is the world the way it is, I guess. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep trudging on. Um, there's a whole heap of different cliff camps along the way. So we might just go into a few of those and check out the view from different spots and then find somewhere to stop for the night. 
we're heading out um, on the track from the Nullarbor Roadhouse out to the Murrawidgee Cave. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Um, we weren't going to do this, but because we couldn't go down to the head of the bite and go to the visitor centre there, um, we thought we'd maybe just try this out since we have a little bit more time to spare. Yeah. So it's 10 kilometres from the Nullarbor Roadhouse, um, sort of heading north into the bush. It's a dirt track. It's a bit bumpy, but we've just let the tyres down a bit. Yeah, we just took them the old 60 seconds out. Yep. <laughs> Which made a huge difference, actually. Oh, yeah. So it's, yeah. It's just washouts and things like that because obviously it's not a maintained road. It's just a track that goes out to these these wells or whatever. The, the cave. cave, sorry. So, yeah. yeah. We'll see what it's like. Yeah, we thought we might as well. Something to only, do. Yeah, it's only 10 k's, but a lot of reviews are saying it takes like almost an hour to get out there. Well, we're already Almost about five k's, k's into it, and it's been ten minutes. So. And it hasn't taken us long at all. So, and that's towing. So we've got the um, got the van on the van on the back, and um, yeah, we're four k's into it, and it's taken about ten minutes. So, not a bad road if you're used to doing sort of off-road stuff. Just makes your jiggly bits jiggle. Yeah, it's a little bit bumpy, <laughs> um, but yeah, certainly not yeah, unpassable or anything like that when you're towing. So, we'll check out these. See what it looks like. made it the 10 k's out to Murrawidgee Cave. Um, wasn't really a hard track at all, quite easy. And kind of looks like a big sinkhole. That's what I would sort of compare it to. Bring down to it here. You can see it over the back. It's sort of got a big open cavern out that way. You can see sort of where all the rocks have sort of fallen down in to make the opening to the cave here. That's pretty cool. I don't really know if you can get down in there. People probably have before, but anyway, we'll have a little bit of explore and check it out. So there's actually three caves out here in this area. So this looks like it's probably the biggest one. Um, we'll go up a little bit further. It's just not too much further up the track. You can go and see two more caves as well. So we'll go check those ones out, but it's certainly really cool looking at these things because you just sort of imagine, um, you know, a lot of the um, first landowners in this area would certainly have used this as shelter um, and lots of animals would be using this as well. Um, and water would be collecting down there, so it would actually be really important. So it's really cool to see. Alrighty, so this is the second cave here, um, just much smaller than the other one, but same sort of principle. You can sort of see where the cave has fallen in, like oh the roof of it's God. fallen in. And you can see down, oh wow, it's quite large. You can see right down into it, this one. Smaller opening, but a much bigger cave going down in there. Probably can't appreciate it from here. It's that big dark hole, it goes right in by the look of it. Very cool. You can feel it's like about 10 degrees cooler right here. I reckon down in there, it's going to be like a little ice box. It's pretty cool. All right, so this is down into it. Wasn't too hard of a climb down. It was almost like little natural steps there. It's beautiful down in here. 
really nice and cool. It's green and lush. It's really cool. And it goes even further down into there. The big black cave goes down even further. Mom, are we allowed down there? Yeah, guys, just be really careful coming down. So cool. sizable bones. Probably a kangaroo falling down that hole as we learnt about in Narracourt. Animals fall down the, into the caves. It's pretty cool. This one's definitely worth coming out to check out because it's really fun to be able to come and climb through it. Kids are loving it. Completely free. Not too hard of a climb in and out. Definitely not uh, pram friendly. <laughs> it's just like a little rock wall, really. Just got to test your rock climbing skills. <laughs> yeah. So that was awesome, that one. That's cave two, I think, out here. Yeah, cave three is not as deep or big, and cave one, obviously, you can't get in. So yeah, but like. For the 10k drive out, just that was fun for an example. Yeah, hey. very cool. Obviously, be careful. Yeah. There is. Yeah, accessing there. it at your own risk, really, yeah. aren't you? But it wasn't overly difficult. No. Maybe if you had a hip replacement recently, you wouldn't go down. But <laughs> anyway, so just wandering over to K3. I haven't had a look at that yet. I'll just have a squizzy at that one as well. See what it's like, and then get on our way again. Mm. Nice little detour. Yeah. Worth it, I reckon. Breaks it up a bit. Yeah. Especially a big old drive if you're just legging it across the nullable. Yeah, well, that's right. Something different to do. All right, so this is cave three. It's a bit like the first, I think. You can't really... Oh, you probably could get down in there, which is much smaller opening. Come on, guys. Ah. It's going again. So all in all, they're both pretty cool. So all three of them are pretty cool and definitely worth a look at. Did you like that, guys? Did you enjoy the caves? That was cool. Pretty cool? Mm-hmm. Had some cool things to see, didn't you? Yeah.
um, it was pretty easy. We just sort of came along and found a cliff spot sort of around about where we wanted to be for the day for how far we travelled. Um, got the <laughs> caravan set up behind us here. What a spot! And we've got a pretty pearl spot. So this is our view for this afternoon, tonight and tomorrow morning. another bigger hole here which I reckon would have captured a few animals over the years right up there through the roof and this cave just goes on for ages you can see right through there we've disturbed the bats now they're all starting to fly around Look at so that. here's Mark reenacting the reenacting the photo it's very cute I don't know if you can see that you can't really it's too dark on the screen you got to put it up anyway. That was from like three years ago. <laughs> Too cute. The sign's, uh, the sign's gone higher, so no one can put stickers on it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's on the pole. It's sticking in the pole. 